Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, October 6th, and it's a beautiful fall day here in eastern Pennsylvania. It's uh, about 50 degrees right now. We're going to only have a high of around 70 today, and uh, I just love this fall weather. It, it's just fantastic. Uh, fantastic time to get outside and, well, rake leaves, unfortunately, but but it's a lot of fun just to be out there in, in, a, in, a, in this cool, crisp weather. So... Uh, missed a few weeks, a lot going on, probably nothing that you're interested in though, but just took some time off, got a lot of work done here on the shop, I'll talk a little bit about that, uh, took a vacation with my wife, we went to, uh, where did we go, Ocean City, Maryland, and spent a few days there on the beach, it was beautiful weather, everything worked out fine, the, the day we left, uh, this was last Sunday, it got a little bit overcast in the morning, but actually by the afternoon it was it was very hot, bright, bright, hot, sunny day. So, yeah, great, great time. We, uh, we really enjoyed ourselves. We got lucky. There was a, uh, we had a balcony over our room, and right below the balcony was the hotel beach bar so the bar that you would go to as you came off the beach or were going to the beach and they had live entertainment one afternoon and we had come back from from being on the beach and we had had a few drinks and uh we decided it was it was our uh, our anniversary by the way so uh we decided to uh open up a bottle of wine sit out on the on the deck and just you know watch the ocean but it turned out that the bar had live entertainment that day, and it was a reasonably good uh, guitarist uh, playing the kind of rock stuff that you get in bars when a guy with a guitar shows up. <laughs> but it was nice. It was just nice to have that that music in the background, and uh, yeah, we had a very, very pleasant, pleasant time. So, it's good to be back, and been back for a week now. Work is busy as ever as we move towards the end of the year and that's all good I'm you know thankful for the work and thankful I've got a job uh, trying to get the shop in order I really hoped that by now I'd be showing you uh, the new shop area it's not there yet I so there was this large shelving unit up against the wall that was really just collecting junk and it wasn't well designed or anything so I took that down all made of fairly good wood and the wood was very well aged and dry and everything so perfect for for building something but it, it's it's construction pine so it wasn't like I was gonna make a you know a piece of furniture out of it or anything and I thought well I need a bench and I want to make a not a, not a huge bench but like a six foot bench that um, I could have some drawers in and that I can do all my pipe work on. And I thought, well, this is an opportunity to not do what I usually do. Usually I overbuild things. It takes me forever. I, you know, everything has to be either dovetailed or mortise and tenoned. And it just, and I do it with hand tools. And it's a slow process. Of course, it works really well. And, you know, in the end, you got something that you can be really proud of. So I decided this time I was going to use construction lumber. I was going to do this as quickly as I could. Uh, so I got out the chop saw, got out my pocket hole jig, and I just went to town. And in one day, this was not last weekend because I wasn't here, but the weekend before. In one day, I completed the frame of the, the bench. And it was pretty simple. I made three rectangles, two rectangles being the sides, and then one in the center. So that I would have, you know, a center support. And between those rectangles, I planned to hang the drawers. And then there's, you know, stretchers at the top and the bottom, and the, the top will go in there. So it's a pretty simple design. Um, so I was very happy. I got that together pretty quickly, and then went away on vacation. And when I came back, I looked at it, and I said, hmm, something ain't quite right. And I started to measure for the drawers, and I realized that it was rather out of square. And the reason wound up being that I had, you know, using the chop saw, I don't have a chop saw table with stops on it and all that so I'm drawing lines and I, at any rate the I had drifted off the line at a couple of points and was um, was relying on the width of the wood to set where I was 
Well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, the length of the wood, rather. I was, I was relying on, I was assuming all the pieces were cut to exact dimensions, and they were not. So I had to yesterday take it apart. Fortunately, it screwed together, so it was fairly easy to do. Resquare everything, screw it back together. So that's in great shape now. Uh, I've got a top for it that uh, I've had off and on a couple times now. I made some levelers uh, for it because the floor is not exactly level and uh, I, I don't want it to rock. So I made some levelers, just simple things out of carriage bolts and T-nuts. Um, if anybody's interested, I could, I could show that at some point. And then yesterday I made drawers, eight, eight drawers. I, I haven't finished them yet, but all the sides are done. I made them out of plywood. I routed them, um, routed all the joinery on them. Now I need to make eight bottoms that will fit into the slots in the drawers. And then they need to go into the frame, and then the top goes on, and that's done. Sounds like a lot of work. It's it's actually, at this point, not a whole heck of a lot of work, but uh, it's it was a lot of work to get to this point. So I guess the moral here is it's great to uh, do things quick and dirty when they work out, but when they don't, it can actually mean more work for you. But I will still be done far ahead of where I would be done if I took the fine furniture route. And you know... I'm trying to get a workable shop here. I've been shut down for too long. It's not that I have anything against the fine furniture route, and I may well wind up rebuilding this bench in the future, but I'd like to rebuild it in that way, you know, with all the dovetails and mortise and tenons, when I actually have the time to do it, and I just don't have the time now. So this is quick and dirty, and it'll get the job done. I haven't even talked about the pipe today. Uh, this is... Uh, that lean limited pipe that you see me smoke quite a bit. It's actually a Crown Achievement pipe. It was put out um, when they reintroduced Crown Achievement. And sorry about that, folks. I had a double whammy there. The furnace came on and my battery died. I normally keep the uh, the camera plugged in, but I unplugged it a few weeks ago to do that outdoor video and forgot to plug it back in. So, anyway, got that all sorted. Uh, I was talking about this. This is Lane Limited Crown Achievement Pipe. Uh, very nice pipe. I, I, I like it a lot. You know, it's funny. I, I was, oh, and uh, Haunted Bookshop because I smoke Haunted Bookshop in October. <laughs> I was, that, <laughs> It's funny, I really do. I, I actually have this rotation that I go through on a monthly basis that I made up a few years ago, but I, I, I haven't stuck to it in quite a while. But I always do have Haunted Bookshop in October, which ties in with my Halloween pipe. And my, Anyway, we don't need to get into that now. Uh, but I've been smoking Haunted Bookshop so much this year. I think this is my fifth pound that I'm working on, and it's it's almost gone. That when it when it became October and I thought, oh, it's time to smoke on a bookshop, I, I had a good laugh at myself over that. I almost should smoke something else, but I don't want to mess up the the routine. Um, so where was I going before that? Well, while I'm off on haunted bookshop and Halloween, uh, I'm working on a Halloween video. Uh, it's. This one's really not coming together for me. I, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with it. But, uh, it, if you followed my previous Halloween videos, this one will complete the trilogy. So if you're a horror fan, you'll know exactly what I'm, what I'm doing. Uh, and it's just a, it's a topic that's much bigger than the first two. And, and it's just been harder to kind of pin down the, you know, I don't want to make a six hour video, um, and honestly I could, that's, that's how big this topic is, uh, so trying to trim out things that, uh, just are not relevant and still make a, a pleasing story that, that makes sense and that'll keep people interested has been a bit of a challenge. But I'll get there, I will get there, and I, I will have this, uh, the Halloween video this year. But I gotta get there soon because I'm 
I got more travel coming up, so I'm going to be out of town. I think next the end of next week, like like from Wednesday on, I'm I'm going to be on on business, and then that weekend I have to go to Pittsburgh with my wife. It's her parents' sixtieth anniversary. Maybe 65th anniversary. I'd be in trouble for not knowing that. Uh, so they're having a party and you know family and friends get together. Uh, it's actually a big deal. It's it's going to be like 60 some people, and we've uh, we've been looking forward to that for for uh, quite a while now because it's well we've been planning it for quite a while. My wife's been planning it for quite a while, and it's led to of course drama and uh, fun, so I'll be glad to put that in the rear view mirror, to be honest with you. So, the point is, I don't have a lot of time left in October with, with all that travel and everything, and I, I'd i like to get that video out the week before Halloween, so I got, I got work to do, but uh, it, it'll happen. So that's about it, you know. I, I haven't, pipe-wise, I haven't really had any any news and uh, updated you on the shop, and just been busy and enjoying the cooler fall weather. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, I, I <laughs> boy, this this time of year, the weather across the U.S. is so messy that you know it, it could be anything. And I, you know, I know some folks are already getting snow. Uh, but I hope you're enjoying whatever weather you're you're having, and I hope you have a fantastic Sunday and a great week ahead. So until we talk again, I will look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.